How would famous princesses and their villains look if they reversed roles? Hey everyone, this is Mei Yu. Welcome to a very special video. I'm gonna unbox my very first graphic novel that I've been working on for the past few years with my wonderful agent, editor, and the team at my publisher, Union Square. A few days ago, I asked you to guess what I'm working on. Then I asked you what you thought the title of my first graphic novel is. I got some interesting answers, so thank you so much for guessing. I'm so excited to share this special moment with you, my loyal fans who've been following me for many years. Join me as I unbox my author copies from my publisher for the first time. Okay, ready? So, my real title for my first graphic novel is... Oh! <laughs> Lost and Found! Whoa! Oh my goodness, this is so cool! <gasps> Whoa! Oh my goodness, everyone! I can't believe it! This is the hardcover. It's so beautiful! Whoa! Look! I love the colors. It's so pretty and crisp. I just love it. Oh my gosh! Lost and Found will be in bookstores like Barnes & Noble next spring. Now you can pre-order Lost and Found on Amazon. Go to the link in the video description, pre-order it, and be the first to own my graphic novel when it releases. Many of you know I've self-published over 100 books on Amazon. This is my very first book that's been published by a book publisher. It's also the very first time I'm telling my own real-life story through my art and my graphic novel memoir. I am so excited! One of my biggest dreams is coming true. You know, I've been wanting to make graphic novels, comics, and manga since I was nine, and now my very first graphic novel is coming out! Ah! More info is coming later in the video. This is a compilation video that collects all of the hero and villain role swaps I've done so far. Here are six different hero and role swaps. Let's see how the princesses will look if they were the villains and their villains as the good guys. Starting with Aurora and Maleficent. I wanted to really emphasize the jagged, harsh looking lines of my princess villains. Because in all the, or not all, but in many different like movies and shows and things that I've seen and uh, watched, the villains tend to, like the designs tend to have more harsher, jagged looks to them. Their shapes are more dynamic, they have this energy to them. Uh, so I wanted to kind of translate that into my piece. I wanted to take these little like energetic, jagged looking elements and put them into my design. For my Maleficent reimagining, I decided to soften her lines quite a lot. I think that gives her a much more innocent, good guy look. If you haven't yet, check out my previous real-time coloring video, Relax and Color With Me during this holiday season. I've also shown over 200 new fan coloring creations in that video. See if yours is in there. I was pretty happy with this piece, but as I was signing it, and then I took another look at it, I felt the designs could have been brought out more with more dramatic colors. I think it looks much better now. What do you think? Okay, so I'm going to make the mermaid the villain. What did I get myself into? I'm going to turn uh, Ariel, the little mermaid, and Ursula into like uh, their opposite roles. And of course, I have to get Flounder in there. I was thinking about how Ursula has um, her uh, eels, and it would be really interesting if I turned Flounder into some kind of evil sea creature as well. And as for Ursula's design, because I'll be drawing her as like the traditional looking like good guy uh, kind of character, I'm going to change her facial features a little bit to make them look friendlier. For 
for my Ursula design, I didn't want to rely on all uh, like different shades of purples, so I thought it would be interesting to add some pinks in there just to brighten things up a bit. I still remember watching The Little Mermaid when I was really young and just becoming so in love with mermaids in general. And I do think it's one of my most favorite Disney movies of all time. Okay, they look fantastically different. We've seen two roll swaps already and I can't wait to see the other four coming up. Many of you have asked me over the years to tell my real life story ever since I started my Animate My Life video series on my YouTube channel. You wanted to know how I grew up, how I got into art, where I came from, how I became an artist, and how I can create all the wonderful art videos you've enjoyed over the past decade. Now you can start reading my real life story in my first graphic novel memoir, Lost and Found. This is the first of many graphic novels based on my real life that I hope to make. Continue to follow me and you will be the first to know when I have new books coming out. Pre-order your copy of Lost and Found on Amazon, just click the link in the video description. My graphic novel is available as a hardcover, paperback, or ebook. Once you pre-order, you can be the first to own Lost and Found as soon as it releases. You can also use gift cards to pre-order. I hope my real life struggles and triumphs in Lost and Found can help and inspire you to be your very best and to overcome challenges in your own unique ways. Thank you so much for being a part of this new milestone in my art journey. And now back to the video. Wait, I'ma make Jasmine like Jafar? Oh no. I'm going to make Jasmine the villain this time and Jafar as the hero or the good guy in the story. I'm gonna try to see where, like on her design, where are the places I can turn those soft, friendly looking lines into really harsh, jagged areas in her design. I think it's a great mental exercise to try to see ways in which you can take a certain idea or like a certain character and push the boundaries to make them look different and to see what's possible with this character or idea. I just want to say, you know, I always love reading your comments and suggestions and why you like my art process, like from the sketching or the inks to the coloring. You know, I really feel like we're really connected. Look at their faces. Did they just destroy your childhood? Comment and let me know. Um, Mulan's the bad guy now, but am I going to give her Shan Yu's goatee? I wanted to take certain features of Mulan and really like make them look hard and harsh looking. And of course I had to include Mushu in here. All right, so we have Eva Mulan, and now it's time for the good guy, Sean Yu. Maybe 
in some kind of backstory or like an alternate universe maybe he you know him being the hero he was tasked to go up the mountain and because the you know the mountain has a lot of snow maybe as a precaution he would wear a lot of white clothing or light colored clothing to help him like stay camouflaged but you know of course Mulan the evil Mulan sensed his presence and now I don't know there's like a showdown or a conflict If you were expecting a goatee on Mulan, wah wah, sorry for disappointing you. If Rapunzel was the villain, what kinds of evil things would she do using her hair? So basically I knew right away that I had to do something with Rapunzel's hair. She has, you know, a lot of uh, beautiful, flowing, soft looking, glamorous hair. And I wanted the hairstyle in my uh, art piece to look more like jagged, more wicked looking. For the, like, the face, I wanted to smooth out some features, and I was thinking it would be kind of fun if I kind of, re like, not reverse, but like, um, swapped the ages as well, so it's not just a roll swap, it's also an age swap. And I just love how I designed my Rapunzel's face, like, that looks like a wicked villain. What would this evil Rapunzel be up to? What does she want from Mother Gothel? And how would Mother Gothel stop her? All right, that's five roll swaps. We got one more pair to go. All right, for the last hero and villain roll swap, I'm thinking of reversing the roles of Alice and the Queen of Hearts. So I think this illustration is going to create some kind of situation or scene and I need your help. Let me know after you've seen this video what kind of situation or like the conversation could be. I sense there's going to be a lot of tension in here. Out of these six pairs of roll swaps, which are your top three? Let me know in the comments. Okay, fan theory time. Let me know what you think could be the situations or backstories of these evil princesses. What are they trying to do to the good guys? I always love reading your creative comments. And for those who are celebrating, I hope you and your family have an awesome holiday. I have a holiday gift for you. You can download a free holiday coloring card on my website at mayuart.com. Print it out, color it, and give it to friends and family, or keep it as a personal memory. Happy holidays, everyone! If you love my art and videos, you'll love these books. I've made over 100 coloring and how to draw books, including number one bestsellers on Amazon. Join tens of thousands of fans who are collecting my different coloring and how to draw books. If you want to learn how to draw from me, I've created all these books for you using my 30 years of drawing experience and 20 years of art teaching experience. I hope my books can help you expand your creativity and drawing skills. No matter if you're an aspiring artist, colorist, or someone who loves creativity and art, my popular coloring book series can give you hours of relaxing, creative fun. The link to my Mayu bookstore on Amazon is in the video description. Happy creating!